Oh, hello, Internet. This is the Root. Lovely video response to this article. Yeah, I watched it, and now I read it. Now, here's the fun part about it. Have people not forgotten what happened around 74 years ago when Line 1 and 2 got constructed? Line 1 was the first, Line 2 was the second, and so on. Homes had to be expropriated, you know, bought, and destroyed in order to build the stations right that's a lesson on history and that's exactly what's happening again although 70 years later right now all these people uh, neg I think they actually neglect reading history on this part because why complain about it and complain about it and complain about it nothing's gonna change Absolutely nothing at all. You know? Nothing's going to change anything. The homes have to be demolished. The stations have to be built. It's one of those uh, balances where you want improved transit, but you got to make sacrifices for it. If I was a homeowner in that area, I would have gladly moved because I know that that subway line or any extensions would be exactly in that same area and I'd be able to take transit to and from my destination yeah think about that would you rather have mass transit or mass congestion for motor vehicles think about it gridlock streets or a train that can get you everywhere or mostly everywhere you know what I'm talking about the Ontario line previously known as the downtown relief line and whatever else uh, that's being built and shit has to happen houses need to be taken down expropriated demolished stations have to be built station entrances have to be built too that takes time so yeah you gotta move too bad boo hoo it's gonna happen you got a year's notice so prepare Make plans. Get ready to move. Because it's just going to happen. Nothing you can do about it. No amount of fights can happen. They're still going to do it. And if you try and block it. And all that. Well you know. They can just get police to remove you off the property. So they can get what they got to do. Done. You know. Anyways. Just thought I'd make that video. Thank you for watching.